<clears throat> this is Jack. Goodness, I almost wanted to say this is Anu. <laughs> I'm going to speak about Anu now. <laughs> like I was saying, Jack, and then Anu was like going near in the back of me. But the name Anu, not Anu himself. Okay. Obviously, there are many beings asking, where is Anu? The answer to the question is, Anu still exists, but he's not participating currently in this process. Um, is planet Nibiru, all interdimensional planets have been removed from existence. Literally, all dimensional and have been interdimensional beings are either here participating on Earth because they've allowed themselves to realize what is necessary to be done here with humanity. The principle of oneness and equality is who they are. And then you have those that unfortunately still in the dimensions want to have power, control and greed and still supporting separation, which is Anu. Now imagine this. Anu prepared his placement here on Earth to take over this entire world which also got to do with the, with the reptilian babies that are being born, to take over this world in one singular moment after extensive preparation for billions of years since the manifestation of the Adam and Eve that I described. Since then, he planned this whole thing up to now and it's got specifically to do with Bush and all the people that are currently in presidency at the moment specifically placed for Anna's return to his creation. <clears throat> but then his entire plan for billions of years got fucked in one moment. So you're able to imagine how angry Anu is because his, his, his complete plan, which has been now for billions of years, or millions of years, no, actually for him billions because he's been working on this project for a long time, to finally take over man as his slaves and be God and ruler of earth dimensions and existence. Because remember, he didn't have access, but he did prepare a point of access. Um, because it was since this interdimensional portal opened. Now, that Anu did not expect to happen. Because this interdimensional portal actually stand as the principle, the statement, as who each human being is, as existence, as one. One is equality. Creation, creator and created. One, here. And ever since this being started channeling, um, oh God, it's not channeling, excuse me, started going out of her body completely, fully aware, inside the dimensions, Truth started coming out. For instance, because she was there and she could come back with full awareness, she could say what was going on in, in, in heaven really, who was involved, why were they involved, what was the plan, what's going on with human beings, what are human beings, etc. So basically, this point was the point where Anu's entire plan of the complete enslavement of man fell. Because no one in this world knew exactly what was going on in heaven. It was impossible. Firstly, as I've explained the reason, because of the channelings and the psychics. No one had such access to the dimensions. She was the first. And ever since then, everything changed. Basically, the dimensions, you could say, woke up, realized they've been programmed zombies, they've been hypnotized, um, we've gone through multiple processes in heaven just to establish us standing here within human beings, as human beings, directing human beings to realize firstly that you're not your mind as thoughts, emotions and feelings, just that. <laughs> it's been a long process. So Anu at the moment does not want to partake in this process because he's extensively angry as you might just imagine because here someone stood up and said till you know further I do not accept this enslavement in existence 
and messed up everything because all the dimensions obviously stood up to a certain extent. We've closed the demon dimension completely so demons don't exist. We've stopped the soul construct. We've stopped the white light construct. If we could have taken those things out, it is strange that you must probably ask, but then what governs this world? You know, what is actually then directing everything? Because that's what used to direct everything. You know what is directing everything is actually really who you are. Which is in the form of, if you want to call the structural resonances. Now, I'd just like to explain the structural resonances. The structural resonances are the point where we just want to get everyone to. In other words, that's the point of the oneness and equality. But I know there's not the structural resonances in terms of, you know, the, you must hear their words, you must hear their voice, um, you, must, you must hear them. In terms of hearing them in the words, you can see who they are as you. And that's what's important. So our first initial placement here is just get everyone to oneness and equality. We've almost got the dimensions, not completely even yet. Remember, we're also as much in this process as human beings are. We are no different to you. In other words, if I see it, that the dimensions will actually only stand in oneness and equality once we get human beings there. But how, Because how can equality, oneness and equality exist if... All is not equal in one. Yet, one is an equality exists within you as you, but yet not the image and the likeness, the likeness which is the manifestation of existence as you. So Anu is currently in this process, in the dimensions. What is a process? A process is a process where you, you go through experiences to, to, to realize, firstly, what you've done to yourself in the enslavement of consciousness, what you've done to others, you apply forgiveness, you do the corrective action, etc. But, um, yeah, no, I know it's a difficult one to break at the moment. Well, you know, to, re to have him realize, you know, firstly, what is done to himself as all as one in existence. But the point he can't forgive or understand is that his entire plan for billions of years was literally completely fucked in one moment when the portal opened and the dimension started realizing what was going on and started telling the people, yeah, listen, this is what's going on in the world, uh, in the dimensions. So just imagine that for a moment. And <laughs> but he's a magnificent being. I'm certain he will pull through that point. It's just ego, really. The need for more power and control. So, oh, the planet, Nibiru. Whew, first, before I forget that. Um, Nibiru also removed doesn't really exist. Remember, guys, in terms of the whole gold belief scenario, it was a belief. It wasn't real. I know and them didn't need gold to survive or exist, please. That would be the ultimate manifestation of separation. You are who you are. I am here. That's it. Thank you very much. This is Jack.